Hello everyone, it is Ryan from Syntax Byte. Today I got a real cool video for you. I'm gonna show you how to do same really simple but really sleek animations using CSS and Vue.js. So let's just hop right into it. So to get started here, I've already built out a basic template. All I have here is a button that toggles the visibility on a H1 tag, and I've gone ahead and applied a sans serif font, so that's just looking very sleek for us there. So if you don't know how to do this, I would encourage you to read up on Vue.js. It's just a button with a click event. We have that here. It toggles a Boolean var variable, and then the header one displays using the v-show directive there based on that show Boolean variable, and that's how we get this nice functionality here. But that's kind of jarring, and we want to go ahead and animate that. So to do that, first thing I wanted to do is make a transition tag and I want to give it a name and today I'm gonna to make a bounce effect so the uh, the text is actually gonna bounce in and out as we go ahead and show it there so now that we've wrapped the header one in a transition we need to go ahead and put those transitions into CSS so view.js will mess around with the classes on the object in order to animate it. But if we don't create those classes in our CSS, it'll just be applying and removing classes, but nothing will actually happen because those classes don't mean anything. So the first two classes that we want to create are uh, bounce, enter active. So this is going to be applied to the element when the element is entering onto the screen and then it will be removed once the element is finished entering the screen. Then we want to apply bounce leave active and these are going to be the same thing. We want to do the same thing to the element when it's entering and when it's leaving. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a transition. We are going to transition. We'll just say we'll transition all for now and we wanted to take 0.5 of a second that works so that class is going to be applied when the animation is happening on enter or on leave and when the animation is finished view.js is going to remove that class from the element now the next class that we want to do is we want to say bounce enter and bounce leave two. Now what this is going to do, bounce enter, okay, bounce enter. First of all, what does bounce enter do? Bounce enter is the state that you want the, uh, the element to be in when it enters, okay? So it's going to apply that class when it enters, and then it's going to very quickly remove that class again. And bounce leave two, it's going to apply that class basically during the end of the animation and that is the state that you want the element to finish off in. So if I want this element to come in and scale up, I don't want it to start at full scale. I want it to start at zero scale and I want it to scale up. Likewise, I want it to leave beginning at a full one scale and I want it to leave to a zero scale. So hopefully that helps. Now. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and say what we want to do. So in this, we could just say transform scale zero. So again, that is the state that it is going to enter in and that is the state that it is going to leave to. So we can go ahead and save this file now, refresh the page and see what we get. Okay, so it looks pretty good. It's scaling in. One issue is that we want to go ahead and apply a display inline block and that will fix the width issue for us and so there we go the width issue is fixed and it looks how we want okay that's awesome but what if I actually want uh, the animation to bounce in I want it to bounce in really big and then I want it to go back a little bit smaller so right now it never gets any bigger than its final state it looks good but it doesn't really bounce it more just it more just comes in I want it to bounce so in order to do that CSS transitions are great when you want to go from one value to another value but 
What if you want to go from one value to another value and then back down to a value in the middle? Well, to do that, we need to use a CSS animation. So I can actually delete these bounce enter and bounce leave two classes because those are only necessary for transitions. So I don't want to use those. And here I want to change this to instead of a transition, I want an animation. And I want to change that to, uh, we're going to call the animation bounce. And it's still going to take 0.5 of a second. Now, I don't want it to bounce the same way when it leaves as when it enters. So I'm going to remove bounce leave. And we're going to go again. We're going to do bounce leave active. And then we're going to apply the animation, same one, bounce for 0.5 seconds, but this time we're going to apply it in reverse. So now we've applied this animation, but it's not going to do anything yet because we haven't created the animation. So now let's create the animation. So to create an animation in CSS3, you use at keyframes. And for some reason, Adam likes to put a double at sign there. So I just change that. And then you have identifier. You want that to be the name of your animation. So bounce. And then you can say where, what are you, what you want to apply to the animation partway through. So when the animation starts, when it's 0% of the way through, what do we want to do? Again, just like with the transition, we want the text to start at zero scale. So we can say transform scale zero. Okay. And then 80% of the way through is where I'm going to let it get to its biggest state. So at 80% of the way, it's going to switch directions and it's going to go scale down again a just a little bit before the animation finishes. So I'm going to go to transform and we'll do a scale of 1.2. So again, I'm doing it oversized because I want it to come out and blow up oversized and then go back down again. And at 100% of the way through the animation, this is going to be the final resting position of the element. We are going to transform it to a scale of 1. Perfect. And so we can see that it sort of comes in and it goes out. It comes in and there we go. So that is how you could do some real simple animations with using CSS3 transitions, which are the simplest way to do it. And then you also using CSS3 animations. Again, all that Vue.js is doing is helping you out by manipulating the classes on the element. You still have to create these animations within CSS yourself. So I hope that helped you out. And thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel, like the video if it helped you out. And I'll see you next time. Got more Vue.js coming.